Hey, what's up, Santi here, and yes, you read the title right, this is a free app for Android, and it works incredibly well, this is it, right here, and I'm gonna walk you through it a bit more, but right now, just to give you a bit of an idea, it's really cool to be able to see how much you're spending on monthly basis, and being able to even filter down based on personal stuff, versus, for instance, business stuff, how much I'm paying for the services that I use. And this, I think, is incredibly helpful for those of us that love exploring different applications. And I know personally, sometimes I just subscribe monthly to an app to see if it's worth it long term, to see if it's something that I later want to pay annually, uh, that kind of stuff, you know. But I always like to keep on top of my finances. I know exactly how much money is going to different areas of my life, maybe on things such as like apps for personal use versus business versus even services that I pay, like electricity, water, going to the gym and those kind of stuff. I find it's super helpful to be able to know when a certain service is going to expire so that you know if you want to renew it or not so yeah it's really really cool i'm gonna walk you through it a bit more and yeah well the name of the app of course the name of the app is this one right here i mean the name is not very catchy but it's just called subscriptions manage your regular expenses so that's how you'll find it on the google play store so if we talk about some upfront pros and cons one of the cons is that this is android only as far as i could tell so this is not available on an iphone if you do use an iphone and you know of another app please leave it in the comments to help those that might be looking for something like this so i'm really excited to share it with you i love it i've started to move most of my subscriptions here and yeah it is free that's definitely one of the things that got me interested in it and it does have great reviews and you know from reading the reviews that's what convinced me from giving it a try so yeah one of the cons is android only and that includes like the fact that there's no browser app or no desktop app, so everything you do is on the phone, which I'm honestly not a big fan of, but this app is just so good that I had to kind of sacrifice that. And thankfully, there's a way to kind of back things up, even sync it with your Google account. It works pretty well, I'm really excited to show you. So yeah, let's get into the app. At first I was just gonna do like some example, like entries such as like example app one, example app two, but I thought it was way more realistic and perhaps more useful to actually show you the kind of stuff that I pay for, what is even my process to determine when an app is worth it. And yeah, maybe just some insight that might help you. I think it's always helpful to see how much other people are paying for apps to actually see where you're at. And I personally think this number is really high for me. Like, I, it's not like I feel super comfortable with paying this amount on just apps because I haven't yet added things such as, you know, gym or electricity or like general bills. These are really just all applications right now. And, you know, one of the things that I really love about the app is like I was saying, you can filter things down. If you go down here, you're gonna see those three lines and here you can see all the different tags that you have. So for instance, if I go again for personal, you can actually click it in here, you know, like that. But if I see personal, that's a bit of a more realistic number of what are the apps that I use for personal use versus the one in, in business, because I do run this YouTube channel business where I make courses and those numbers for the services that I use really skew the numbers. So if I just click on business right here, you're going to be able to see that these are the expenses on just business alone, you know, and one of the highest ones is this one teachable right here, which I pay a lot for, but that allows me to kind of make a living. So, you know, I think it's worth it. But yeah, I just thought that's a useful thing to say because like, this is kind of like my normal person expenses on the apps that I use, which I think I've managed to get a hold on. Definitely gets out of hand sometimes, but right now I'm pretty happy with that number. I try not to go too crazy, but yeah, either way. So pretty happy with that. And again, I can actually see monthly and personal, you know, or another thing that's pretty handy is you can actually click up here and change to yearly to see how much I'm paying for, for personal applications on yearly basis. The same thing I can do for business because that's a useful one for me to actually know how much things are costing me. And, you know, it's pretty high, but these are things that I always need to on yearly basis revisit, be like, is this worth it? Shall I try to replace some services for others? And yeah, so that's really handy for me. There's a weekly one as well, but I find that a bit harder to perspective. I find it way more useful to think in, in monthly terms or yearly terms. And then beyond that, what you can also do is, well, let's just remove this one. And down here you have payment methods. So I had to rename this just because I, don't, I didn't want to put the real names of the bank. But yeah, you can filter things down by like how many things are being paid by bank one. And here you can see it tells you on the top what is the filter. And now I can just see everything that I paid with that bank. And you can do the same, of course, for another type of bank. You can even see like several banks and that kind of stuff, you know, so it's pretty handy. I like that a lot. I like that it's separate from the labels. And yeah, so with that said, let's just create a new entry. You just click on the plus right here and let's just do, I don't know, like eight is kind of like a regular number for, for applications that are 
on a monthly basis and let's just call it like the best app right and then here what you can do is give it a description so be like maybe i'm testing this app maybe you're not yet convinced if you're gonna pay for it longer term and here in billing period uh, you have actually two options recurring or one time i personally use the app for recurring payments so that's what i end up using and you can actually say that you pay for this on a monthly basis so you pay for it once a month or maybe you do it on yearly basis once a year and that's actually going to help you do the math for everything right and then another really useful thing that you can do is actually decide when did you do the first payment so let's say that we did that uh yesterday right so there we go so yeah there you fix that you can choose a color let's just do orange for now payment method let's just do bank one or actually yeah bank one is fine and then here you can add some notes so cool app and some labels so right now i'm just gonna for the sake of example i'm gonna call it personal and this is something i pay on a monthly basis right there we go we go back all good and then of course you need to make sure that you save the subscription and there it is the best app if you click on it you're gonna have a bit more information it actually tells you when the next payment will be when the first payment was and how much you paid in total this is pretty handy because if you've been paying for this app for like let's say eight months just gonna do the maths in here for you just gonna tell you how much you've ended up paying in total for the amount of duration that you've been using this app for if you're no longer paying for it or maybe you decide to cancel it for now you can archive subscription which is pretty handy and of course you can edit it to change any of these details right and then you click save so yeah there you go and as you can see in this side, you can actually see how many days before it expires. So because we said we paid for this yesterday, then that means that now we have 29 days until it renews. And I actually have down here, there's like a little arrow for sorting. I actually like sorting it for next billing date. That way, whenever there's an app that is about to renew, that is going to go to the very top of things. So for instance, this app I'm going to pay for today. If I decided, and this is on monthly basis that I pay for, if I decided I'm not, no longer making use of it, I could cancel the subscription today. You know, so the same for this one, like if it's something I no, no longer want to pay, I can know that in two days is going to be expiring. And yeah, if you don't like that, you can always categorize things by name because it might make it easier for you to know exactly where to find which app. But yeah, I really heavily rely on just filters, you know. So for instance, some things I just know that they're business and website related and I have two right there, you know. So yeah, I use tags quite heavily because there isn't a search function. I wish there was, to be honest, but like a way to just search for the app so that you know exactly where it is and how much you're paying and all the stats that you might want to find on that app. So yeah, pretty cool. And the app that we created is this one right here, the best app. And because it's $8, you can see that the total number of monthly has already increased. So because I just don't want that, I'm gonna remove this, delete it, and then it comes back to my real number. A couple of extra settings that you can do in the app is if you go to the three dots on the left, you can actually hide labels. So look at the difference. That is a bit more compact. I do like seeing the labels because I like clicking on them. And then clicking on them just allows me to just make use of the filters, right? So I don't know, like that, right? So yeah, of course, there's dark mode, which is the reason why I love this so much. You can disable it and burn your retinas and hate your life. But if you love yourself, you're going to use some nice dark mode. Not to discriminate against the non-dark mode community. <laughs> but yeah, either way. So then you can also do uh, backups right here. You can also hide the time until next payment, but I really like that. You can see it in the top right here. How that hides right but i like keeping that uh, backups this is pretty handy because you can actually sync it to your google account if you have one and that that is just a way in which you can just save backup and just make sure that if something happens to your phone you lose your phone or like i don't know it resets or whatever and you lose your data but you could also create a new backup then and that's just something that you save to your files and then you can restore your backup from there so that's pretty handy so awesome app and i know some of you were actually pausing the video trying to see which apps i'm using to see which apps you might actually enjoy but instead of that i highly recommend you join my community right now i'm offering a 30-day trial and it's just this thing that i'm trying to form build from the ground really cool place to interact with one another give you feedback on the apps that you might be trying you know let me know any questions that you might have more specific to your particular setup and that kind of stuff is kind of like a more personal personalized way to help you on your productivity journey so if you're interested in that definitely make sure to join it is in the description yeah if that's handy if that's helpful definitely join excited to have you there and with that said i hope you have an awesome day and i hope you find this app helpful see you later bye Cool. See you later. Bye.